We have to review another darn Pokemon game. Look, just because Adam and I don't like Pokemon, it does not mean we don't appreciate that many of our fans love it. They really, really love it. And that frightens us. But not as much as the thought of a Pokemon racing game on the Nintendo DS. Here's a review of Pokemon Dash. Pokemon spin-offs come in two flavors, innovative and horribly wrong. Pokemon Dash comes from the good folks at Umbrella. Close. The Umbrella Corporation brought us teeming hordes of brain-eating zombies. Umbrella brought us this. Yeah, but let's put the past behind us. Way behind us. And take a look at Pokemon Dash. In this racing-style Pokemon game, you'll scamper around as everyone's favorite lightning rodent as you dash from checkpoint to checkpoint. Race alongside semi-popular Pokemon over roads, forests, swamps, and water. Occasionally, you'll need to take to the air to find your next checkpoint or get over hazards. Hey, I can see my lack of enthusiasm from here. The top screen acts as your radar to find the next randomly generated checkpoint. A straight line will not always be the quickest path to any point as obstacles will slow down your little Pokemon. Just a reminder, the green is grass, the blobs are forests, and the blue stuff, water. Don't worry about anything else getting in your way. There's nothing else in these sparse levels. You control Pikachu from a top-down perspective on the bottom screen. Move the stylus over the screen in the direction you need this rat to race. This is where the game becomes a pain in the wrist. You'll need to rub and scrub and viciously stroke your way to victory. To get through the different cups and tracks Dash offers, you'll need to find someone used to hours of repetitive stroking. It's fairly clear that Pokemon Dash was rushed like it had its mom knocking at the bathroom door. The game offers only one Pokemon to choose from, Pikachu. There's no unlockable Pokemon, no Poke powers to speak of. You'll be petting your little friend for some time. Up to eight players can get together to rub, to scrub, to stroke, to molest. This also requires you to find someone else to admit to buying the game. Dash lets you create nearly 400 new tracks by inserting your previous Pokemon game. There's nothing new to the new tracks, just different strokes for different folks. Of course, with this much rubbing involved, you'll want to avoid more sucking. Pokemon Dash starts out as a decent idea, but gets tired like a one-joke review. What? This is going to be the best Sunday ever. Oh, yeah, right there. That's why we give Pokemon Dash a two out of five. Now, Pokemon Dash was originally designed to demonstrate the capabilities of the Nintendo DS. Which means they're trying to play it off like this is a real game when it's basically a glorified tech demo. Way to half-ass it, guys. You and I half-ass this show most of the time. Well, maybe we're a glorified tech demo for G4. Rub your screen vigorously to find out.